Hello and welcome back to IXL Tutorials. This is Mr. Duffick and today we are doing IXL N9 which is all about properties of squares and rectangles. So this is one of the easier ones, one of the more simple ones because we know a square is a shape that has four equal sides, the diagonals are all going to be the same, right? Uh, the midpoint between them is going to be A, each half is going to be the same, etc, etc. Rectangle, uh, very similar, except only the opposite sides are going to be the same, and that goes for the diagonals as well. So we'll do some of these problems here. Quadrilateral BCDE is a square. What is the measure for angle ADC? ADC. So it wants to know what the measure for the angle is right here. Okay. Well, we know all four angles to the square have to be 90 degrees, right? They're all right angles. And so this diagonal is cutting this angle in half, it's bisecting this angle, right? So if this line is bisecting our 90 degree angle, it's cutting it in half, what two halves is it cutting it into? Well, it's gonna be 45 and 45, right? So the answer to our question, ADC, ADC, is just gonna be 45 degrees right there. Okay, uh, now it's asking for what UW is, what UW. Again, all of the, uh, the halves are going to be the same length here. So 56 plus 56 for U or for uh, WX is going to be 112 for the entire diagonal of UW. So that's 112. Okay, this is a square. What is PST? PST. So same deal. It's going to be 45. Okay, now we have a rectangle here. And it's saying that UY, so the first half of our diagonal here is Z plus 16, and VY is 3Z, and it's asking what the value of Z is. So you see that the lengths of these two parts of the diagonal are going to be the same, okay? And so we're just gonna set them equal to each other here. So we're gonna set uh, let's see, uh, z plus 18 equals 3z. And so we'll subtract z from both sides here. So we are left with 18 equals 2z. Divide both sides by 2. 9 equals z. Okay, so z is 9. Alrighty, we have a square, and what is the value of p? So we know all four sides of a square have to be equal, so these are gonna be the same number, so we can set them equal to each other, just like with the rectangle, and figure out what P is from there. Okay, so we have P plus 60 equals 7P. We'll subtract P from both sides. So we have 60 equals 6P. Divide 6 both sides, and we are left with 10 equals P. Okay, so P is 10. Okay, quadrilateral is a rectangle. BD, so our um, diagonal right here is equal to 2Y, and CE is equal to Y plus 18. What is Y? They're going to be the same length, so just set them equal to each other. Okay. Uh, BD is this, CE is this, same thing. Both diagonals are the same length. They're gonna be equal to each other. So set these two uh, equal to each other. Y plus 34 equals 5Y plus 26. And then just solve until you get Y by itself. Okay, so now we have BD and CE again. Okay. Uh, we already had this problem. This is a square. What is BD? What is the entirety of BD? Well, BF is 23, and uh, the second half is also going to be 23, so 23 plus 23 is 46. Yeah, okay. We have GI and HJ. Again, just comparing the diagonals. Okay, so we eventually get to the end here, and there are questions that are yes and no that just uh, ask whether the shape in front of you is either a square or a rectangle. So is this parallelogram a square? Well, the diagonals have to be equal, right? And since these two um, sides only have one tick mark and these two have two tick marks, 
that means the overall length here and the overall length here is going to be completely different, meaning it cannot be a square. Okay, over here, is this a rectangle? Same length, same length, same length, same length. That is going to be a yes. The diagonals have to be the same length, right? So this is the same as this. So that is definitely going to be a rectangle. Okay, so that's where I'm going to stop the video. Stay safe, take care, and study hard. See you for the next IXL tutorial video. Goodbye.